long ago, when the clouds were not that gray and low, and the highest mountain was not higher than a symbol, people believed that those who disappeared in a sea deep were taken to the fair lands by seven wolves. Enchantress. When the old king died, she became queen, but cared little for her subjects to be the most beautiful woman in the land. and devoured by all the powers of evil. Come to my aid. This delicious elixir brings eternal youth and beauty to whoever drinks it. And only I know the formula. I must be the most beautiful woman in the land, and no one can possibly be more beautiful than me. If anyone dares to challenge my claim to being the most beautiful, I don't know about it. For I have a magic mirror that tells me everything. And now to drink the potion. Oh, that is truly wonderful. I can feel the efforts of Brady. Now to ask the spirit of the mirror to confirm that I will be the most beautiful. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the first of us all? Oh, purple queen, it is my task to answer truthfully what you ask. For all who dwell in your command, you are the first in the land. The first, the most beautiful, forever and ever. Now I must get back to my court before me. No one must know who she's wrong. No, a magic potion has felt and wiped it. For with all of this, I am the greatest rule of the land. And the most Stop it at once. I say, stop it at once. What are you thinking of? I say, what are you thinking of? Sitting and dancing in the royal room? What will the queen say? Oh, it's all too much. She says it's too much. Oh, come on, Lord Chamberlain. Don't be such a wet blanket. A wet blanket? A wet blanket? You can't go around and call me a Lord Chamberlain. A wet blanket. Don't be such a small sport, you old fuddy daddy. Fuddy daddy? Fuddy daddy? Oh, it's all too much. But we're celebrating. Celebrating? Celebrating what? Celebrating? Celebrating what? Today is Princess Snow White's 18th birthday. What? Today? But it can't be. It is. Why? That seemed like only yesterday. The old king used it to dance with her on his knee. Oh, there were happy times. Yes, and then he had to go and marry that dreadful Queen Malevolent. Everyone knew he was doing the wrong thing, but she seemed to have such a hold over him, as though he was spellbound. After he died, she took over ruling the whole kingdom. And things has gone from bad to worse. I say from bad to worse. She despises Snow White so much and treats her no better than a scullery maid. So you can see why we were singing and dancing, just to cheer ourselves up and celebrate Snow White's coming of age. By Jove, you are right. And if it is a, is a celebration, we need the bucket and some drinks. Oh, that's all taken care of. Handy Auntie and Snow White's nurse Dame Dirtle are in charge of all the catering. Yes, they're down at now, getting everything we need. Oh my! It sounds like a recipe of disaster. And if something goes wrong, the queen will get angry and make my life misery. Oh, it's all too much. You see, it's too much. Out of the way, out of the way. Special delivery. Oh, hello. Have you all come to Snow White's party? Well, I'm very pleased to meet you. My name is Handy Annie and I'm in charge around here. Hello, Lord Chamberpot. I'm Chamberlain. What are you doing down there? I'm getting up. You should not be sitting around taking it easy. That's what's to be done. I'm not sitting around. Whatever, you're responsible for all this. Just a minute. I hold a very important position in this castle. Important position? A general? What, you, uh, what, what have you gotten uh, back, Andy? It's Snow White's birthday cake. Oh, let's do have a look. What on earth? Congratulations with the golden baby anniversary. That's not very appropriate. That's all they had out of chat notice. Oh, really? This is all too... Yes, we know. Too much. Too much. But what about everything else? Oh, don't worry. Dan Doito is seeing to that. I can put Snow White a present. It's a beautiful white rose. I don't think much.
much of that for a present, you can hardly see it. Maybe uh, I should water it. Okay. 
fade away. And then you, my magic mirror, will tell me again and again that I'm fairest in the land. I wish I knew why the queen hates me so. I've never done anything to offer to her. But if I work really hard and done everything she, she wants, maybe she will be more kindly towards me. Uh, oh! I'm very pleased to me. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to scare you. I just uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Prince Rupert of Rutania. Prince Rupert, I'm honored to meet you. And whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? <laughs> me? Oh, I'm nobody. Anyone as beautiful as you? No, cannot be nobody. What is your name? I'm called Snow White. Snow White? Princess Snow White? But I thought you... You are a young girl, still at school. Today is my 18th birthday. Then the accident to my carriage was a fortunate one. If only I had known it's a special day, I had bring a lot of presents. Sir, you have only just met me. Yes, I know. I know you. I feel like I've known you all my life. Oh, there you dear. I haven't wished you a happy birthday yet. Thank you so much. Prince Rupert, we are presenting to who has been my nurse and dearest friend since I was a baby. Very pleased to meet you, dear. Oh, your royal friends, charged, I'm sure. <laughs> ah, your majesty, I was just looking for you to thank you for your organiza organization and hospitality. Not at all, my dear Rupert. Now I need something to set all the judges down. Go. Oh, the very thing. I told the roses, they're for Snow White! Snow White? Oh, what a fitting gift, a beautiful rose for a beautiful girl. Beautiful? Yes, Your Majesty, you have a very beautiful stepdaughter, and I had the great good fortune to meet her. The party can be possibly in my way, it must be to celebrate Snow White's birthday. And I hope she will give me the privilege of being her escort for the evening. With all my heart. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get the party underway! Oh my, what a day! I say, what a day! First, there is a party for Snow White. Then, Prince Rupert and I saw the party for him. Then, it's back to Snow White. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I say, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Hello, you do. How preparation going for the party? Well, if certainly people who do the job well, we might be ready in time. <laughs> Well, if certain people would try to pinch Snow White's roses. I did not do try to pinch them. You do. I have enough of this. I am off. Oh, something was. Oh, you are you just an old married couple? Oh, if I was married, I wouldn't argue. Especially if I was married to someone as beautiful as Snow White. Oh, Andy, you can put this idea out of your head. I think she she's already fallen in love. Yes. Ever since this Prince Rupert arrived, she had eyes for no one but him. Oh, she up and there are more play, there are more fish in the sea. Hmm. Who? Well, me for instance. You? Why not? I have a complexion of a schoolgirl of seventeen. Well, give it back to her. You're wrinkling it. All my teeth, I know, are my own. Then I just don't remember where I put them. <laughs> <laughs> Remember where I put them? You have to marry an archaeologist. Why? Because they like old products. No, you just be unkind. Oh, sorry, my dear Nutella. But I always had a soft spot on Snow White, and I suppose I always will. Then why haven't you told her? I've tried, but I just get tongue tied and end by making fool of myself. Look, if you really feel that way about her, you must summon up the courage. I will summon up the courage. Be firm. I'm firm. Be strong. I'm firm. I'm strong. Be a resolute. I'm resolute. Be a man. I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, dear Dutel. I feel much better now. Are you, ready, are you ready to tell her how you feel? Yes, I'm ready. I'm really, really ready. Say, tell her! Hello. 
Your Majesty. Princess Nova, it is not in her room. How very odd. Anyhow, we can wait for no longer. Supper is going to, to be getting cold. Come along, everyone. It's the dining hall. This can be right. Where are we? You say Prince Robert wanted to see me, but we are going further to the forest, and there is no sign of him. We must go further. But this leads into the forest. Yeah, deep into the forest. Please, let's go back. We must go deep into the forest where no one will find us. You are frightening me. This place frightens me. Oh no, please, what are you doing? Please, why would you hurt me? What are, what are we doing? Please, I beg, don't hurt me. Hurt you? Why, 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 why do you hurt me, princess? You always be a good friend. But then I... Now I remember, it was the queen. Take me deep into the forest. Take me Snow White deep into the forest and kill you. Take back your heart into the, into the golden box, she said. Does she hate me that much? Oh, God, I'm triste to you. But what will happen when she finds the box empty? Don't worry, princess. I have just sweep the final war I caught this morning. But you are in great danger. You must run away from here. I will. And you must go back to the palace. Okay, princess. And goodbye. And my good luck be with you. If only Rupert were here. Don't worry, Snow White. Your prince will help you. Friends, 
if we know that you are to be coming here, you know, close friends, she do anything she could to stop it. The queen? Yes, she hates Snow White and always has. But, uh... I think we should find the huntsman and ask him a few questions. Yes, let's go and interrogate him. Come along then. There's no, no time to lose. Walk this way. Lord Chamberlain. Yes, Your Majesty. Have the chief, have the chief huntsman returned? I believe he just arrived in the, at the main gate. Have him announced at once. At once, Your Majesty. He must complete his task. My magic mirror will tell me all. Oh, it looks a little dusty. I'll give it a clean to better observe. Huh, that's better. Now, Miro, Miro. Yes, have you completed my task? Um, I took Princess in the Forest as you ordered. And? And she's no more? You have a proof? I have what you want in here, Your Majesty. Splain, Splain. It will have some work for you. Now, go into the dining hall and take some food and wine, for you have earned it. Not so fast, you. There are a few questions that need answering. What do you want of me? Princess Snow White. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. I saw you just talking to Queen Irrevalent. What have you been plotting? Nothing. I know of no plot. I swear, if you've done anything, you almost know why. Where is she then? Uh, where is she then? If you've done anything to her, you'll be home solely responsible. It wasn't my idea, it was the Queen. I knew it! She tricked me and put me into some kind of a trance. She said I was to take the Snow White into the forest and kill her. Then I was to cut her heart and bring it back here. Oh my goodness! He he killed her. Take it. But you don't understand. She is not dead. 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 Where is she then? When I realized the queen's plan, I told her to run and hide in the forest and never return to the castle. Alone in the forest, but there's wild animals. Anything could have happened to her. Oh, she could be eaten alive. Oh, put a dog on it! Lord Chamberlain, are you with us? I don't know about this. I say, I don't know about this. It's a gate protocol to such a terrible temper from the Queen. She calls our heads to be cut off. Oh, it's too much. She says it's too much. Chamberlain! Of course. Not. And if some people are trying to kill her, will you stop them? Of course. That's what the queen is trying to do. You mean she? Yes. yes. To pretty little Snow White? Yes. yes! Why? That wicked old queen. I say old queen. So, are you with us? I'm with you. Don't worry, Snow White. Your friends will help you. Again, we have porridge for breakfast, porridge for dinner. I begin to dream about porridge. 
Oh, what they wouldn't give for a nice piece of bacon and two fried eggs. Oh, a great big juicy steak. And apple pie. I do love apple pie. There doesn't seem to be much left. Hello. Oh, please don't run away. I'm sorry for insulting you. Don't be afraid of me. I mean you no harm. What are you doing here? I was lost in the forest. I'm very tired and hungry. When I saw your cottage, I took shelter and fell asleep. You ate all our porridge as well! Be quiet, Dottie! I'm so sorry, but I was hungry. I can cook you a meal if you would like me to. You can cook? Yes. What sort of meal could you cook? How would you like a potato and meat pie with carrots and parsley with thick, thick gravy? Oh, I feel in pain just thinking about it. Would there be apple pie as well? It's been so long since I had apple pie. Then you shall have apple pie with lots and lots of cream. Oh! Just a minute. We don't know who you are. My name is Snow White. Snow White? Uh, not a priest Snow White? Yes. You live in the castle of this awful Queen Malevolent? I used to, but she hates me so much that I had to run away. Hate you? How could anyone hate Queen Malevolent is someone to be feared. He, she learns black magic. Many years ago, after the king's died, she judged to turn us all in stone unless we told her where precious diamonds mines were. The king used the diamonds for the benefit of the land, but the queen wanted them just for herself. One night, we ran away and built house here. And since she never found us. Until I slept on your bed and it's your porch. <laughs> now you know who I am. But what are your names? Chief, Smiley, Dorothy. Snoozy, Timid, Growler. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you. How how about I cook you that meal? If you if you like, you could cook all our meals. How is that? Snow White needs somewhere to live, and let's be honest, we need somewhere someone to look after us. What do you think, lad? Yes. I will ask her. Snow White. Would you like to live here? Oh, say yes, please, say yes. Oh, you are all so kind. I don't know what to say. Don't cry. Here, borrow my hand. From now on, you have nothing to worry about. And be sure no harm ever, ever comes to you. Oh. So that's no way to keep her alive. Tricked by my own huntsman. But if Snow White is not dead, where is she now? Tell me, Nero, and quickly, where is Snow White? Amid the forest darkly green, she lost with dwarves the hills between. Dwarves? Dwarves that might live here and, and my diamonds? I, I thought they had died long ago. They are alive and safe and well, and in cottage happily dwell. And Snow White is with them? She is. And they intend to stay, growing more beautiful by the day. Enough! I have heard enough! This time, I need something to destroy her completely. I must do it for myself. Only then can I be sure that she is finally dead. Oh, uh, the very thing. A victim so potent that the... Uh, the poison so potent that the victim can't be only woken up with a lover's kiss. Eye of dove and wind of bed, tongue of Newton and claw of crab, fear of skunk and slime of snail, weaver's tooth and rabbit's tail, raven's feet and blood of shrew, mixed into a poison shrew. Perfect! 
Snow White, who never is a nice one. Well, who's there? Just the poor old Apple Seller, my dear. Apple Seller? Yes, I've been up since before dawn, and my old bones are aching with so many walking. May I come in and sit down for a while? I'm afraid the owners of this cottage are, are not at home, and have told me to not let anyone in. Are those scared dwarves gone off to walk already? Do you know them? Why, yes, Lord love you. They often buy apples from me. Well... You have a such kind voice. I bet there is a pretty face to go with it. Won't you open the door and let me see you? I suppose if you're a friend of doors, it will be all right. Oh, I was right. You are free to go. Too free to Won't he sit here? Can I get you a cup of water? Uh, no, thank you, my dear. Just to sit down this very body is all I need. Your Highness, I need to give you something. How about the big red juice apple? Mm, they look beautiful. And you want to put uh, uh, apple pie for supper? Uh, I'll put them all for you. For your kindness, I'll give them all to you. But this one, you must have for yourself. It looks appetizing, and uh, I don't like apples. But no, thank you, I shouldn't. Why, are not? My friends tell me not to. But what harm can an apple do? If you're worried, I'll take a bed from this side. Oh, okay, it was all right. And plus, the freaking girl is dead. From now on, I'm the fairest in the land. Shit gun! 
I should kiss you really good. Yes, and never she will be able to put to inflict her evil on anyone. I can't believe it. How brave you were. Snow White, mm -hmm. as this heir to the throne, you're the rightful queen now. Don't you think the queen should have a king? <laughs> Snow White, would you became my wife? It is I who be honored. Oh, isn't it wonderful? I step with dress right away. Three cheers for King Rupert and Queen Snow White. <laughs> so our tale has ended. The prince is with the Snow White. It means the fight. We hope you enjoy it yourself. And have a lot of fun. Wish you all the best of luck for, for the years and yet to come.